this soul was born in today's world, this soul would have been able to live. And she says to me, please tell my mom that one day she will see me again. First of all, there's a soul that keeps trying to come through. And I keep saying this little baby that's here that had issues developing and forming here in the physical. So I'm gonna come to you as the mother. So first of all, do you know, was that baby born premature? Or was there issues with, with that? Premature. Because what I'm seeing, I keep seeing small little limbs and small little hands and a small little body. And this soul is coming through because even though this was an infant, please know babies can not come through because our body is just our body. When our soul goes to the other side, our soul evolves. And you know that this little soul is telling me there was no way that they could breathe because there was issues with lung function here in this world. And I keep hearing the soul telling me I was born too early. I was born too early. What's crazy is this. All right. And this is, this is something that's like kind of freaking me out a little bit. I really don't want to tell you this, but I have, I have a policy and that's that I got to tell you everything that the souls tell me. What this soul was telling me is that if this soul was born in today's world, the soul would have been able to live, which is so amazing. Mm -hmm. Even though this soul had had these these problems, I have to tell you that this soul has been watching over you every single day, <laughs> and this is a soul that oftentimes you think about because I keep hearing the soul telling me that you wonder, you know, how old they would be or what they would be doing right now all the time. And please know that I also know that there was an issue with you seeing that child as well. So did the hospital not let you see that child? Not right away. And then you made sure because I here's what I hear. Okay. When I hear that there was a doctor or a nurse or somebody that recommended you not see that soul or not see that child, and you went against those wishes and said, listen, that is my child and I'm going to see that child. Yeah, you know the mm -hmm. story because it, because the soul's telling me that you tell the story all the time. She has a very hard time talking about it, but yes, she, she thinks about it all, her all the time and everything. I got to tell you, she's here. Do you know, she said to me, Matt, please thank my mother for all the love that she gave to me, even though I was so small. The one thing that she's telling me what was so tough is that at the time, there were issues in your body at the time that that soul was born. And she says, Matt, please tell my mom that not to feel any guilt. This had nothing to do with her. This had to do with me, how I was developing. It had nothing to do with your body. You know, and I feel like that she's telling you this for one reason. Back in the day, you know, obviously technology and medical wasn't where it is today, right? And I feel like that they didn't have an understanding of things the way that they had it have have it now. But I can tell you that this little soul is telling me there was nothing wrong with my mom. There was nothing wrong with my mom. So she needs to know that. But I feel guilty about it. That's going to be what she's talking about. Because she said to me, it was just me. It was just me. This soul also wants to thank you for the way that you laid her to rest here in the physical. Because she says to me that even though she was just this, this little thing, that you still made sure that she had a funeral service and was laid to rest. And you treated her like every other family member. Yeah. And more importantly, it's so hard for you to talk about this because you still recognize her as your daughter. Mm -hmm. So please know that every single thing that you've done for that child, that child knows. And you know that she says to me, please tell my mom that one day she will see me again. She shows me that she's been watching over you this whole entire time. She also tells me that there was a health scare with you recently. Yes. Yes, I did. And she's saying to me, Matt, please let her know I was watching over her. I was watching over her because she tells me you were nervous because she tells me for some reason there was issues with your lungs as well. And she says to me, Matt, please let her know I was the one watching over her. I was the one watching over her. She wants to just thank you because like I said, a lot of people don't realize that souls that pass so young can see all of this. You know, what's so amazing is that she's just as close to you now as the day in which she was born. And the reason why is because you've kept her such a part of your life. She even tells me that your daughter knows about her because back in the day, like I feel like when you were just a little girl, your mom used to tell you, you have a sister that you don't know about. There was a sister that you're supposed to have. Is that true? Yes. Yes. So please know that it's her way of acknowledging that she is still part of your family and more importantly, always with you. I also want to thank you for letting me deliver this message to you because I know that this is something that you have a hard time with. And I know that this is something that you're probably hoping didn't get brought up today. But, <laughs> you know, what's so amazing is that this little girl wanted to reach you in the worst way and has had these message, had this message for you after all of these years. And that's just so beautiful because if you could see how much she loves you, because like I said, even though you feel like you had this disconnect with her, that she's felt your love through that whole moment in an eternity and in, in, in the afterlife. Jen, that was your aunt that passed? Yes, okay. my sister. Oh, no wonder why. So know that she's here as well. I couldn't understand why they were coming through together. So know that one of the things is that this is her way of acknowledging that she's here. And first of all, I know that this was such a hard, that this was such a hard passing when I'm connecting with her 
here in this world. Because she keeps telling me about the fact that Matt, I wasn't supposed to die like this. I wasn't supposed to die like this, she keeps telling me. And what's so crazy is that this woman did not even know she was passing, she tells me. She says to me, Matt, I was sick. She goes, I was having issues throughout my body, but I didn't realize it was so serious. That's what she tells me. I tried to tell her many times, like, carefully like carefully but I was it was really hard for me to say she asked me how sick she was and I tried to tell her but I don't I didn't feel like she wanted to hear well I'm gonna tell you something it doesn't matter if you came out and said you're dying all right I said to her like you only have three days she in her mind felt she was gonna get over this I know she did because I keep hearing her saying to me I overheard doctors and nurses talking she tells me so she heard people talking around her. And she tells me, I'm gonna know, I'm gonna tell you how she knew internally she wasn't getting better. She keeps telling me that she would ask people like, where's my doctor? Where's my doctor? Why is why is the doctor not coming to see me? Yes. Why am I not going for treatment? Why am I not going for surgery? Like she tells me in the beginning, she was putting the pieces together. So even though she was asking you kind of for validation, she already knew, but she made it in her mind that she wasn't going out without a fight. And she wants you to know that. We know. <laughs> she fought and fought and fought. But you know what's so crazy is I keep hearing like, you know, you will not want to, to spoil her hope. And I keep hearing people saying to her like, oh, I don't think like basically in a nice way saying, I don't think you're going to get better. And she's like, oh no, I'm going to get better. Oh no, I'm going to get fine. She had like six to 12 hours to live in April of 2021. And she lived almost 20 months. So know that it's her way of just acknowledging that. But what I have to tell you is this, what she's more excited about and more happy about talking about is the fact that you made every day like a party for her. She <laughs> said that she wants to thank you. She goes, Matt, she goes, my, the, the last years of my life, which goes, was so amazing because up until the last moment, she says, I had my family there, she tells me. Totally. 100%. She wants to thank you for the way that you had everybody coming in and out, the way that people, yeah. she's telling me, Matt, she's bragging to me. She's like, you should have saw the pastries and the desserts and the things that they brought me, she's saying to me. Because she had a little bit of a sweet tooth here in the physical world when so connecting with her. Yeah. Yes. She also <laughs> wants, to, wants to say this. She said, Matt, she goes, I may have been afraid of passing. She goes, but when I died, I was not alone. She says, I had everybody there for me. She goes, and there's nothing else that I could have ever wanted. Let my family know that I made it to heaven. She says, please let them know that I'm okay. And that I am safe and at peace, she tells me. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm going to leave you with that.